Music system. Um, it seems like the uh, the car adapter outlet has sort of become dislodged from where it's supposed to be. So we're actually not even able to charge the GPS in the car at present. But thankfully, um, technology is very uh, interchangeable and compatible. So we are actually currently charging the GPS on my uh, my charger for my PDA. Yeah. So we went to the comedy sports thing, which was cool. It was like. Uh, a lot, uh, the, the venue is a lot smaller versus Vancouver, um, even versus uh, when we saw Second City in Vegas years ago. So anyways, uh, the, the first show was pretty good. There were some obnoxious kids in the front row and there was a obnoxious laughing staff member. We were somewhat debating as to whether or not they were, you know, planted there to try and encourage other people to laugh or if they just had the most horrendous laugh in the world that made it sound like the world was ending if you were sitting next to them. So anyways, it was a good show. We stayed for the later show, which is a little bit more hit and miss. Um, they ended on a pretty sour note, but, you know, it's late at night, so it's hard to cap things off perfectly. But uh, on the whole, it was fun. Uh, they actually called me up on stage at one point because they were desperate for volunteers. I waited until they asked like three or four times before I put up my semi-reluctant hand. And uh, yeah, so it was kind of fun. Got to play some improv. And uh, they had a visiting performer from Chicago, Tara. She's apparently the funniest girl in Chicago or something. And so we did a scene together and that was amusing. I'm definitely having some Boulder flashbacks here, let me tell you. <laughs> the big, uh, the, what was it, the caveman statue and the big metal people that welcome you to the sound. <laughs> Crazy stuff are we going to see next? After four. Got his cameo. There was a giant. 